So at this point we completed the design of our app. We have seven nice looking screens and in this lecture we're just gonna see the prototyping part of Adobe XD. I'm going to show you how these screens can be easily linked together and how we can create an interactive prototype which you can then share with your clients or stakeholders. So let's get started and we're gonna move to the prototype section of Adobe XD by clicking on this link on top here. So now we are in prototype mode and we can make changes that are going to affect the way screens are linked to together. So we can start by simply connecting these two screens first. So we have a login button here. We're going to select it. And by using this little handle with an arrow on top, we're just going to click on it and drag all the way to the screen next to it, which is our login screen. And now we see a little pop-up being displayed here with some settings. So basically the target is the screen where we'll be sent to. So the login screen is correct. Transition, we have a few transitions here we can choose from, but we should change it to slide left as we want the login screen to come in from the right side of the screen. I wouldn't bother touching the easing. We're not gonna see much of a difference in this case. And the duration, I would put it down to 0.2 seconds so that the transition happens just a bit faster. All right, so now we're gonna select the login screen and we're going to connect it to back to the home page with this little back icon. So we just select it and we grab the little arrow here. We click and drag and connect it to the home page. So the target is the home. Transition, we need to change it to slide right and we keep the rest the same. So now if we click on the little play button, which is up here on the right, we're gonna see our prototype being open in a separate window. And if we click on the login screen, we see it displayed with a little nice transition. So if we hit back, we're gonna go back to the home screen. This is basically how it works. It's very simple, super fast to set up a little prototype like this. And let's just continue. So we're going to connect the home screen to the sign up screen, as we have the button here. I'm gonna slide left and we're going to connect the sign up screen back to the home screen as well using the same back icon this time sliding right let's see again how it looks to click on sign up I go to sign up and hitting back I go back to home screen we also have this section down here which we should connect to the sign up screen. So we just select it and connect it here. Sliding left is correct. And we can move down to our other screens. Actually, we should connect these buttons here, the login and sign up to the browse screen as the point of connection to the rest of the app. So we select the login button, connect it here sliding left as well and the same for sign up now we're going to connect the browse screen to the sidebar menu so we have a symbol here and Adobe XD for now doesn't allow to connect elements that belong to a symbol so we basically need to ungroup the symbol so that we can grab the little hamburger menu here and we just connect it to the menu and we're gonna do slide right because we want the sidebar menu to come in from the left side of the screen actually let's test it right away and see if it looks okay I'm gonna click on the play icon click on the hamburger menu and yes that's exactly what we wanted so we can move on and connect the little bubble icon here to our inbox Actually, let's select both the layers and connect it to inbox here. Sliding left. And let's connect our sidebar menu, getting the icon and the browse text here to connect back to the browse screen. Sliding right. And as we're ready here, we can connect the messages 
text and icon to our inbox. Sliding left. And we need to connect the inbox back to our menu. So we're going to select the hamburger menu here and connect it to the sidebar menu. Sliding right. And now we're going to move down and connect the settings screen to our menu. Sliding right. The inbox icon to our inbox. And the settings link from the menu back to our settings screen. Alright, so it seems like we're done. Let's just zoom out all the way. And if we select all the layers here, we're gonna see all the connections between the screens. And we can just try to test it out and see if it works as we expected. So let's play it. Let's click around. Now if I click on login, it should go to the browse screen. Back to browse. Let's go to settings. Back to the inbox. Yeah, it all looks like it's working. So now that we have our prototype working as expected, we can share it. To do that, we're going to click on this icon here on top. And we need to choose a title. The one we have is fine. We could use a little icon for the prototype, but we don't need it at the moment. We allow comments and we're going to click on new link. It might take a few seconds. And here it is. So we have our link, which we can use and copy and share. So we're going to copy it. We're going to go back to Chrome and we're going to paste it. And as you can see, we have our interactive prototype here, which works exactly as uh, it worked in Adobe XD. And on top of it, we, when we click on any part of the screen, there's going to be our anchor points, which are going to be highlighted so that we know exactly where to click. As you can see here, all the parts that are connected to other screens are going to be highlighted. And it just works. So we're done with our prototype and we have reached the end of the course. Thank you so much for watching it until the end and I hope you'll be able to apply what you have learned in your future design projects.